Hello lovelies, welcome back to my channel guys. If you're new to this channel, go ahead and smash that subscribe button. Click the bell to be a part of the notification squad. And well, I mean, if you wanna join my paid channel membership, the link is in the description bar or you'll see a join now button. You do have to be at least 18 years old to join. It is $4.99 a month. Um, did I tell y'all to like this video? Like this video, comment below. I'm getting better at getting back to starting to be able to respond to all my um, my comments again. So um, I have Gigi here, Gianna. Um, in my previous video, I talked about, you know, having that feeling of like where my channel starting to feel like maybe I need to change things up. Maybe stuff is just getting like boring, you know, that type of stuff. Quite a bit of people said they've, you know, been in that spot before and where they felt like, you know, okay, we were... I'm in this spot. I don't know what topics to do. I don't know what to. And, you know, I mentioned before in a lot of videos before that, you know, participating in tags often give you content and uh, something to talk about when you do videos. Right. Because some people just want to show off their babies, but they want to have something to say when they're on there. They don't want to just come and show their babies, which that's OK, too. I used to do every morning outfit of the day. I don't know if you guys remember I had the baby Jacoby. And Jacoby um, used to be my morning baby. Every morning before I go to work, um, I would get up, I think, like around 5 a.m. to 6, 6 a.m. And I would do a video changing Jacoby in his outfit of the day. And I would upload that video before I go to work. Because um, I used to have to leave out of my house by 6 o'clock. So that was my thing. And... People got used to my uploads around that time. I slowly shifted away from uploading so early, especially when the pandemic happened because most people were working from home just like I was because the whole world was on lockdown. And so um, people stopped checking for my videos around that time of the morning. So anyway, um, I say all that to say is that sometimes I just want to check on you guys and see if you guys are still enjoying the content um and it was good to hear some feedback from other people and some some just suggestions and if you notice i don't upload as frequently as i used to um for many years it was every day sometimes two times a day three times a day um i've slowed down i do take breaks in between because those breaks are very much needed right now I think it's more of me trying not to do too much and not do too little at the same time. I think it's more of, you know, being afraid of saying the wrong things. And I think that's not just, that's just something I'm just going to have to let it go. <laughs> uh, you know, I'm just going to have to just keep being me. And if I say something and it just don't come out right, you know. It is what it is, and hopefully people give me grace. Um, but did I tell y'all this is Gigi? Gigi is the Gianna Scope by Kathy Romero Biscotti uh, from Silicon Studio. And she is painted and in process of being rooted by me. Um, she has like the middle of her head that needs to be rooted. And I'm slowly doing a little bit at a time because I really want her to be fully rooted. Um... It's always a little bit of fear with me that when she gets fully rooted that I'm going to look at her and go, okay, I can let you go and sell you now. Because sometimes when a baby is fully completed, I, you know, and I need money, the doll that's completed is the one that I look at to be like, okay, you need to go. I know right now there's a kit that I really want so bad I want this kit so bad like I every now and then I get a kit I see a kit that I really really want to paint and I can't get it out my head and so um it's not very cheap but um so I sold 
you know, a couple babies working up to that. But that's not the only kit that I want. So I've been selling, you know, a few babies here and there. But I'm going to pace myself because I think Gigi is the one baby that would really, really make me sad uh, after um, she's gone. So I think I want, I really think I want to keep Gigi forever, but I hate saying that to you guys because y'all be like on me. Like, girl, don't, don't even use that word. Now, Gigi, as you can see, the one thing about Gigi is I love Gigi and she does turn, her head does turn side to side, but it's, you know, you do have to kind of give it a little bit more of a push because she doesn't have a really long neck. And so I think some sometimes because the, uh, the community go back and forth on what they like and what they don't like and you know, people be like, oh, they, you know, they have these these skinny necks or whatever and the head just falls back. So sculptors try to keep more control sometimes of, you know, these things and stuff like that because of what other collectors say. I actually like when the babies have a little bit more of a neck because it helps them turn even more so from side to side. So, um... But she does, as you can see, she could turn and I could lay her on her stomach and her head is not going into the pillow. But she's just a good size and her silicone feels so amazing in that weight. It just feels really good. Um, I'm not close up on my face, but I have bags under my eyes because last night was a rough night. And I, my eyes are very puffy. I slept good though afterwards, but you know, sometimes I have these crying fits, you know, life, you know what I mean? And that's not for you guys to be like, oh my God, what's wrong? I'm fine. Um, like I said, life happens. I'm a very sensitive person. Um, I carry a lot of other people issues. And so sometimes I'm just going through the motion for other people. Okay. Um, and then I have to deal with my own stuff. But I tell you this. I don't have to share that with you. I don't have to say I've cried all night to you guys, right? But I share that with you guys because I want to say that um, people can say what they want to say about this hobby. But even if I was to disappear from every social media platform, not saying that I will, I feel like in everything in me that I will always continue to collect dolls. Um, it's always been a thing for me. I always loved dolls. It's always been a comfort thing for me as well when I think about it. Um, because I was older collecting dolls. I started, I was collecting dolls from little, but even up to my 16th birthday, I took my money and bought a baby alive. Right? Yeah, baby alive. Um, they had this new one out that was real animated. I bought all this stuff. And I remember my grandmother and her best friend. Um, Miss Lillian in the store and them saying um, her say, saying to her I could hear her on the other aisle saying Kate you don't think that uh, that she too old to be buying dolls and my grandma say no she say uh, I'd rather play with dolls than be trying to you know play with boys and have babies or whatever she said and so she was like, well, I guess you got a point there, Kate. And they were like best friends, like the type of friendship that it was no filter. Like they told each other how they felt, period. It wasn't no protective feelings and nothing like that. Um, and so they had a little conversation about me, you know, playing with dolls and stuff. She was like, but it's kind of weird because at her age, you know, and my girl was like, basically like drop it, like. That's what she do. She ain't bother nobody, you know. And so, it's always carried on. And then I had, you know, the pause when I had my own children. But even, um, there was a time we were in JCPenney's and they had this realistic doll. I don't know who, what brand it was, but it looked so real in there. But it was like, almost $200 or 
or a little bit over two hundred dollars. I I can't remember. And that was a lot of money for us. You know, I was young. I had four kids, and my ex husband, which was my husband at the time, he said to me, um, he said, we can't get it now, but he was like. One day we'll be able to buy you that. We'll buy you that doll. I'll buy that doll for you. And um, he, uh, so he, at one point when he did have the money to do it, we looked and looked and we could not find that doll anymore. So anyway, go figure. Fast forward um, years after. And, of course, we went through our divorce. And um, when we went through our divorce, and I finally got grips on, you know, being a single mom at that point. And, uh, you know, things started picking up for me financially. I was in a better place. And I wanted to do something to treat myself. So, I started looking online. And I started looking on places. And then... Uh, this baby popped up when I looked I said real looking dolls or lifelike looking dolls and it popped up and anyway that's a long story but that's how I got into I found the reborns and so from there I seen silicones but I could never afford silicone like you know I, I think $300, $350 was a lot of money for me like $350 back then was like three thousand dollars for me you know what I mean so that's that was my 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 price range but anyway I shopped and shopped and tried to look for the best looking one that had nice hair and nice color it was crazy but anyway so my first doll just in case you guys don't remember was Walter by Laura Tudor Ross and the artist was Connie Prince and I tell you what that lady Connie Prince the artist answered a lot of questions for me as a new collector she was very kind I'm still following her on Facebook and um, that set the foundation for me from there so that's where it went I actually ordered a little mini by Lorna Miller Sands after that waiting see bad habits started way back then waiting for that doll to ship because she had told me she was gonna do something and then she would ship him and I ordered that doll and it was like a little fifty dollar doll it was silicone but it wasn't you know it wasn't like the silicone what we use today and it was cloth body and she that doll came before walter came and i was so i never <laughs> i never forget this is where i learned a valuable lesson about you know um reading the description over and over I, I, I know that I read it. Okay, I read it, and it said like twelve inches, or you know, uh, thirteen inches, or something like that. And so I'm thinking, yes, I'm thinking it's only going to be the length of a ruler, right? But for whatever reason, I'm thinking it was going to be like a, you know, a thicker baby, a, you know, more chunky. The baby came, and it was in this little box, and it was so little, and I was just like. This is not what I wanted. I put it back in the box, put it at the top of my closet. I never touched it again until I pulled it out. Um, I don't know if, I think I did a video maybe. I think I named it China or Asia. And I end up gifting it to a lady. She was like, oh, I love it. Da, da, da. So I messaged her and I said, send me your address. And I sent it to her um, down the road. But anyway, um... Yeah, so that's that's kind of how I just got into this. But then I was like, I couldn't be mad at the seller because they literally described it. It's just when I was looking at the pictures, the baby looked much bigger in the pictures because it was a lot of close-ups and stuff. You know how when people take pictures of BJDs, you feel like you're right there. Like they're really in the scene. Like they're really riding the motorbike or they're really sitting at a dinner table a real size dinner table because it, it gets so close and that's kind of how the pictures was but anyway um nevertheless i was definitely thrilled to have found this hobby it it has been such a soother for me so like last night 
like I said, when I was going through emotions, okay, I keep skipping all over the place, right? Because I'm old and I tell stories like, you know, your Aunt Betty from 1922. So, um, I got Gigi. Um, she was actually getting some, I had been in the rooting chair to get some hairs put in, I won't lie. And, um, I took her and I, I said, you know what? I'm going to get you together and I'm going to put you in, a, you know, some clothes. And um, so I put her in the sleeper and I was like, yeah, she looks so sweet. And then I, I just, you know, I didn't feel like going outside my room. So, of course, they, my bedroom is, I have clothes for them too. And I got her dressed. And by the time I got finished, you know, changing her clothes, putting away what she, well, she didn't have on clothes, but putting away the different outfits that I was deciding if this didn't work, I would put on, put that away. I was tired and ready to go to sleep. I was so relaxed. Like, and I went to sleep. So, yeah. This hobby, this hobby is very relaxing. But I think that's with a lot of hobbies. If you have a hobby and you're passionate about your hobby, it is for relaxing. It does relax. Like, you know, this I think is a little bit more deeper because especially, I don't know, it just really gives you that motherly feel and it just, I don't know, the weight and stuff like that. I don't think that holding, like if I collect the baseball cards, I'm going to feel as comforted by that. Um, I have another hobby I like to write um, and stuff like that. So it doesn't do the same. I also love decorating and stuff like that. I've been impulsive with like right now I'm trying to do organization stuff in my house, but it isn't the same. Like, you know, um, now the organization stuff will tire me out, but it also costs me a lot of money too. Um, but with my dolls, they keep giving. It's like the gift they keep giving. You know, with my organization stuff, I have to keep buying stuff and keep working on room to room to really keep, you know, feeling that feel. But with my dolls, once I pay that lump sum of money, <laughs> you know, if I take care of my dolls, I can, you know, I can love on them for years and years to come. So that's what I love about it. But yeah, but this is my Gigi. And like I said, this, I think this is one of the few sleepers that I put her in, but I really actually love her in it. So she might be in this for a while. And I, I did her little hair. So it's all curled up here. And she's just, I don't know. I just love this baby. So she's she's definitely a, a baby that I'm not trying to get rid of. So I will, if I have to do layaway on the other kit, I will do layaway or whatever. Because I am not letting my Gigi go. Even when she get hair. I just don't want to do it. So I think she's going to be one that's going to stay here with Phoebe. Right, Poopa? Because I don't know. Like, she is she is it for me. Um, she doesn't make me not want any other babies. But she is one that I just... I just love her. So, it's just her and her little sleeper. <laughs> it's, look at her little, her little lips. Oh, so cute um yeah so I, I I I don't know it's a lot of stuff turned out right with her but say I'm not perfect either mommy say none of us are perfect none of my kids are perfect but they're perfect for me so anyway this is a long video I just wanted to have that chat with you guys and I hope you guys enjoy your day. Um, I may be doing live streams randomly um, soon. So stay tuned. But I'm taking time off. I, did, I just wanted to make this video. But I'm taking a little bit of time off. Um, I took this weekend off from painting and stuff just to decompress. And so next week will be back strong. I'm trying to get these babies done before the prototypes start coming in. Um, so, see you guys next time. All right.